Hello people, another beautiful day here. Mm. Hope y'all hope y'all doing good. Health and strength is good. Five senses work. Now to you Steam Deck fans again, we talking about Lutris here. Lutris in the Steam Deck. Mm. Listen to this. The Steam Deck pulls Steam Deck apps pull major game launcher into a single library. Mm. The open source Lutris game manager brings top launcher together under a single unified user interface with a great which is great for Steam Deck users there you guys are getting spoiled <laughs> anyway <laughs> says here uh, adding an adding an um, alternative game launcher to the Steam Deck is no easy task in a lot of cases generally the process require requires or a whole lot of uh, faffing <laughs> around the, in, around in the deck mode as we found trying to install epic game launcher on the steam deck thankfully coming with an open source solution the lutris game manager the latest update makes it possible to launch a bunch of top game platforms straight from your steam deck under a single unified interface mm, steam deck folks anyway it says here Computer uh, based report the app makes it possible to get runtime environment and compatibility layers such as Wine working via subsystem using proprietary scripts These scripts also known as runners allow support for the epic game store humble bundle dolphin emulator gog launcher and of course steam it's even works with Steam for Windows as well as Steam for Linux. Mm, mm, mm. You people are getting too spoiled over there, Steam Deck fans. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> says here, <laughs> says here, Lutris also Lutris allow local installation from the pad from the load of source to be integrated into your game collection too. As long as you have the client installed in background origins Ubisoft connects and Bethesda launcher should also works fine no, Not that there's much point installing Ladder right now considering Bethesda is dropping its launcher on May hmm? Oh boy. Oh, yeah, and there's a video in this article. So yeah, I will leave the link it says you're coming with the 0.510 version of Lutris a dedicated shader cache for Nvidia GPUs will also be available for anyone not on Steam Deck but on a green team machine instead and if you were looking to play anything that requires battle life or anti-cheat you'll be you'll be happy to hear that the latest update allowed the use of those two Steam Deck what what does Steam Deck fans and Xbox fans have in common they get spoiled you guys don't deserve it. What did y'all do to deserve this? I, I'm not going to give out the answer. But anyway, <laughs> it says here, <laughs> it says here, uh, the Linux experiment goes into a lot of more detail in the Lutris ex, uh, explainer, explainer video. But that general uh, gist, the release note explains that all you have to do before you install is disable the read-only flag on the Steam Deck system drive, once Lutris is installed, you can simply re-enable re it. Sounds simple, maybe too simple. We'll have to give it a go when we get a chance, and we'll let you know how that goes. And that is the end of the article. So there, you Steam Deck fans and you Xbox fans are always getting spoiled, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And now you add Lutris to the mix. Mm, with all those beautiful treats. Oh boy, let's see here. You got Epic Game Store, Humble, bun Humble uh, Bundle, Dolphin Emulator, God, and of course Steam. Even works with, with Steam for Windows as well as Steam for Linux. <laughs> you guys are getting spoiled, man. Just another tool to add to the Steam Deck library. Mm. Let's see here. What do I want for the holiday season here? Let's see. One Xbox 
one Xbox uh, Series X, and one Steam Deck, <laughs> and of course, Gotham Knights. <laughs> Let me stop playing here. Look, <laughs> you guys are getting spoiled, man. Mm. I guess I guess Valve and Microsoft know how to take care of their uh, take care of their uh, their user base, huh? Mm. Take take care of them, provide them with treats and goodies. All right. Behave yourself. All right. Tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna leave the <laughs> leave the video in the description box with the article. Nice talking to you people again. Chris, it's <laughs> still Star Wars and Star Trek playing Borg Dark Side. Now go. Peace.